So today, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna check out a property in San Antonio, Texas, the luxury hill country living here at its finest. And then we're gonna go over to New York City and check out what $700,000 can take you there in the big old Apple City. All right, so come join me. First stop is New York City. Let's go. I don't know what we're gonna do in New York, we'll see. <laughs> we're gonna look at some properties. We're gonna compare what you can get in New York compared to what there is in San Antonio, Texas. So let's see how far money can take you in New York compared to Texas. Here we go. From In New York City, we're about two blocks from Central Park and about another five blocks from the Hudson River. This is Lincoln Center. We're right behind the Lincoln Center. It's on the other side of this university, Florida Fordham University. We're gonna go check an apartment here, one bedroom, one bath apartment, about 800 square feet, right here on South Park Tower. So come follow me. Go to the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. Kitchen is a pretty good size. It fit about one or two people. We had granite tops on both sides. We have a gas stove, microwave, most important part, the freezer, and refrigerator. Now we have plenty of cabinet space. Uh, and as you cook, if you lean down, you can have your seat outside. Let's go check out the bedroom. So this is the bedroom. It's pretty good size for one or two people. You have a big king size bed. You have a natural closet here with nice lighting here. The best thing about this place when you sleep and you open up the windows in the morning, you get this nice beautiful view. Nice windows. Okay, so again, this is the bedroom. We have the living room. Let's go check out the restroom. Restroom is right over here. Now nothing fancy, nothing crazy. We've got a basic sink, toilet, and standing shower. Okay? Now another thing about this apartment, it doesn't have a washer and dryer. Usually these washer and dryers will be between the room and the restroom over here in the pantry. But again, this place is seven hundred thousand dollars with no inside washer and dryer. Question is, why is this worth seven hundred thousand dollars when it's a simple one bedroom apartment with you know good sized living room? Let me show you why it's worth $700,000. You have your own private balcony. As you come out, you have the skyline view of New York City. This is the Hudson River. And that over there on the other side is New Jersey. So let me explain why this is a $700,000 one bedroom apartment. We're in New York City and you get this beautiful view. Now down there is Midtown. This is the Upper West Side. This street right below us here is 60th Street. Columbus Circle is right about three blocks away to Central Park. Now this is what you get here in New York City for $700,000. You get this beautiful view 
of the Hudson River and New Jersey on the other side, as you can see. Now just imagine all these other buildings. Some of them are taller, some of them are more luxurious, some have better views. Some of those, some of those apartments up there, these taller buildings, have two bedroom apartment worth four to five million dollars. Now this is the price you get in New York City, right? So the question is, is this what you want with seven hundred thousand dollars? in San Antonio, Texas. We're going to check out this property right here behind me. It's an excellent version of a luxury hill country living at its finest. Okay, let's come check it out. Nice wood door. Come on in. If you haven't climbed up to Enchanted Rock, drink a cold shiner down and look and bark. Taking your baby to the river walk. And you ain't met my Texas yet. If you haven't floated down the El Frio, heard red dirt music on your radio, Eden Cooper's down in Lano. And you ain't met my Texas yet. To the left, you see the formal dining area with the high lamps here. You can put a nice, beautiful chandelier and into this open, beautiful space here. You have the high ceilings, the stone mantel here with the fireplace. Can you imagine yourself relaxing? A cup of wine, some whiskey, and just watch some fire, talking to your friends. Right behind me is a beautiful kitchen. And of course you have the gas grill. Right to the left of the kitchen, you have another dining area. The beautiful thing about this house is that it has separate areas for different things. For example, you have the kitchen obviously. You have this uh, living room here with the fireplace. And you have the dining room. But let's go check out the master. One thing I love about this house too, are these kind of arcs in the doorways. Kind of gives it that Spanish architect vibe. Now in here is the master. This is considered a master suite, as in, as you walk to the right, we see, or to the left, you'll see the master room. Now there is an inflatable bed for now, but you can imagine a nice king size bed here, right? With a beautiful view of the outside. High ceilings, nice arc. Okay, we come around this way, and this is the cool part. This here is the walk-in master suite bathroom. You come in here, and this is big open space. First thing you notice is this garden tub here. Also, this standard shower. And his and hers. I assume this is hers because it has this nice little mirror in there. Come with a lot of hotels too sometimes. Okay? Now if you need to use a restroom, of course you get a little private space right there. Now, here you have his and hers walk-in closets. If you come this way, I can open the closets for you. Okay, here we go. His and hers walk-in master bath uh, closet. It's actually huge. Okay, so like I said, this is the master suite. You can literally hang out here all day if you want. You have everything you need. Let's go across this hallway here. Nice. And I just love this view coming out of the master bedroom, right? 
And to the left, around this corner, as you came into this hallway, you had this little spot here. Now, can you imagine what you would do with this place? Some drinks. So imagine having a formal dining, here with some friends and colleagues, maybe a business meeting, and then whoever's cooking in the kitchen, your chef can come and bring the food here, place it here, and then serve it to your guests. How cool is that, okay? Don't forget the drinks, that would go there. We come over here, to the right, we have the rest of the house, to the left, we've seen it all, okay? All right, let's go check out, let's go check out the rest of the house. You have the kitchen over here, we've seen what this is like. The garage is right in here. Huge, huge garage. Huge garage, three car garage. Okay. The New York apartment fits in this. <laughs> A New York apartment fits in that, <laughs> right. Downstairs is three bedrooms. This bedroom is kind of like a little grandma suite or mother-in-law suite because it has its own restroom. Now come, check this out. Nice semi shower. Beautiful vanities, granite, toilet, but this is the best part. You can live in this room and get some fresh air. Now this room here is the second bedroom of the three downstairs but has its own little terrace to the backyard. Like I said, it can be known as a uh, mother-in-law suite or, uh, or second master. Let's go check out outside. Okay, let's go check out outside. Come. Boom! High ceiling, a nice fan. This is your uh, little area here where you can eat, chill, relax, drink some wine, eat some barbecue. And this part of the, my favorite place of the whole house is this backyard here. My wife and I are salsa dancers. So this is definitely something where we would, we would want in our house. That way we can have a nice little salsa party here. You have, you have a grill. This is a perfect place for entertainment. You have a big old tree that's gonna provide you shade and some scenery. And you have this nice, concrete slab with the stone around it giving a nice texture nice detail so you can have a lot of you can have a party here you can have some guests you can have your family over here so this house is for sale for seven hundred and sixty thousand dollars the apartment in new york city we toured is worth seven hundred and fifteen thousand dollars now in New York City, you have that luxury of the view that we toured, right? Here in San Antonio, we saw this property which the luxury of living here in San Antonio, the hill country. So you see the big difference in what $700,000 can get you in New York City compared to $700,000 here in San Antonio, Texas. So isn't it interesting how far $700,000 can take you in New York City compared to how far $700,000 can take you here in San Antonio, Texas? So you make the determination is how you want to spend your money. And when you do, come find me, Dario Mambo, the real estate dancing combo.